Hi buddies, it's Naya. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do something crazy. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's crazy <laughs> and something interesting. Okay, you guessed it. We are going to talk about some facts about a person, a scientist. Okay, and the scientist is, yeah, you guessed the name, right? Let me give you some hints, like. What can I give you? Yeah, he's the number one scientist and uh, he's just like, like that. <laughs> I don't care really. Uh, I know I'm looking ugly, but. <laughs> okay, you get it? The number one scientist. And I think, like, I can't tell about him. He was a great scientist in the past and we remember him till now. Yes, till now also. Yes, guys, you guessed it right. Albert Einstein. Today, we are going to talk about a great scientist named Albert Einstein. So, here is my book and I'm going to tell you some interesting facts about him that you never know. And we can't imagine that facts. <laughs> So guys, before we begin this whole discussion, I want to ask you a little, I mean, it's a warm-up kind of thing. We are Indians, so we should know one scientist. Give me just one, okay? Any Indian one scientist that you know? Yes, guys, you guessed it right. APJ Abdul Kalam. But he's not the only Indian scientist. There are many scientists, and I also don't know. But I'm going to tell you, some more three scientists that are Indian. Number one, C. V. Raman, Homi J. Pa Pa, and Satendra Nath Bose. So, and guys, I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but we all are learners. So that doesn't matter because we are just learning. We are students. We are not an expert, a professional. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Let's start. Einstein, the scientist and the man. Let us read some interesting facts about Albert Einstein, who was a famous scientist. Hmm. Albert Einstein is undoubtedly the greatest scientist of the 20th century. He revelished physics with his theory of relativity and won the Nobel Prize in kind of mass following that Einstein commanded within the outside. The scientific community is unheard of even today. A true genius that he was. A lot of his popularity can also be attributed to his unusual lifestyle and curie habits. Here are some unusual facts about the genius. So guys, this paragraph tells that Einstein was a great scientist of the 20th century and many more things that we're going to learn about the scientists that are his unusual lifestyle and the curie habits that we didn't know about him. And it's like a very unusual, very like weird, but... Let's begin again. So, a very big head. Einstein was born with an enormous head. Einstein's head. In fact, his brain has been a source of curiosity for the scientist community for a very long time. After Einstein's death, scientists revealed that he did have a larger head than the average human being. So, a very big head. In this paragraph, it means that Einstein was a different person. It means our head is like this, not too big, not like a watermelon. <laughs> but Einstein's head was a little larger from an average woman, I mean woman, human. Sorry for that. Tongue slip, you know. Uh, for a average I was going to see woman again, guys, but I'm having a lot of tongue slip. Human, like an average human, like us. We have a like a medium kind of head, but he had a like a larger head. And after his death, 
scientists revealed that he did has a like a larger head a brain yeah a brain he also had both so i'm <coughs> sorry a quiet child einstein's speech development was significantly delayed guys i just wanted to tell you that if i'm pronouncing significantly i don't know am i pronouncing it correct that if i'm pronouncing it wrong i'm very sorry actually we don't have to sorry but because we are learners that's why we are just learning we are, as i said we're not a professional in english there are many new words and it's not as to i mean i don't remember but my mother told me that when i was two and a half or three years old i don't know i began speaking and my brother that you saw in, my, in many of my videos jawab he is like a two i don't know he's two he's three years old and he's speaking like literally oh my god i'm going to sneeze no one no, no. <laughs> this is just a prank guys so as i was saying that when was i oh yeah that how can a person just can't say until the age of four i was going school two and a half years old and i was like speaking not fluently but fluently in my age yeah and he mumbled to himself until he was nine years old i'm 10 right now and the past videos some of the past videos i was nine and i was talked nicely with you right how how is it possible like i can't believe this thing but you have to believe it because this is the right thing yeah so let's move on love for music apart from being a brilliant scientist i sen also had a flair of sorry for music his mother was uncompliced pianist pianoist and taught einstein to play the piano and violin as a teenager he developed a love for the violin einstein loved the works of bach and beethoven beethoven however his favorite was mozart he called mozart a musical physicist physicist he used to play classical music as a brainstorming technique while working on his scientific theories so this uh this paragraph is kind of similar to me not me my mother she like so many i mean she loves music and i love dancing he whenever my mother do work she listens to music and do like yeah and i like to dance yep so is it in i can oh bass and beethoven is kind of like a i think a something of violin <laughs> I don't know and Mozart or something. I don't know what's that, but it must be something of piano and violin as a brainstorming technique. He used to. This is the another thing. He did of socks. Why would a person hate socks, guys? We wear socks in schools, but we are going to talk about this later. Just first, we are going to read this paragraph. Then we are going to talk about our things. So yeah. hated for socks another curious fact about the legendary scientist was that he hated wearing socks einstein was also very proud that he would never wear socks in a letter he once wrote even on the most solemn occasions i got away without wearing socks i mean I have nothing to say. Like, why would a person hate socks? Because we wear socks in our schools, yeah. And if you don't wear socks, it will feel like weird. This is like unbelievable. You can't believe this, but I also can't believe this. But this people, how he can't wear socks. in in a occasion how 
I mean, on the occasions, if you don't wear socks, that's normal because some people don't wear socks, so we can't talk about that. But not wearing, I mean, I have a question. He didn't wear socks. I'm sorry. He didn't wear socks in his school, or he never went to school. I mean, he he was going to school. So how did he be the world's number one scientist? Yeah, weird. It's really strange. Okay, let's just move on. Nobel Prize, the most interesting aspect of Einstein's scientific work was that he never won the Nobel Prize of his general and special theory of relativity, both which account for much of his stardom even today. Instead, he won the 1921 Nobel for his work on the photoelectric effect. So this paragraph said that he never won a Nobel Prize of his scientific work and his general and special theory. It's kind of weird because he was a great scientist and he did not got any. So guys, we are going to do word power. If you don't know what word power is, let me tell you. Word power is the meaning of the words. As I said in the beginning that I will give you the meanings of some difficult words so let's do word power revelished revelished means change something completely curry strange flair talent brainstorming thinking about solving a problem solemn formal skill Knowledge and ability to do something well. Exercise. So, so exercise meaning is different, but in this chapter, uh, it means perform or do. Functions. Uh, the meaning is different here too. Word, work and job. And something is left for you. Question and answers. So, you're going to tell me that it's true or false. So, write in the comments below. But if the comments are off, don't worry. Say in your mind. I can. You, I mean, you can also say because I can't hear you. But, yeah. So, let's begin. Just tell me it's true or false. Einstein was a talkative kid. Guys, I think it's correct. Yeah. He began to speak in the age of... Four and it was so talkative, I can't tell, right? I'm giving you some time to say the answer. Answer revealed in three, two, one. The answer is false. He was not a talkative kid and he couldn't, I mean, he was mumbling to himself until he was age nine. His weather passion in life was sailing. It's true, guys. I am, it's true. And that's really in 3, 2, 1, true. Yeah, his weather passion was sailing in life. He never went outside without wearing socks. Guys, I'm telling you, it's F for false. It revealed in, the answer will reveal in 3, 2, 1, true. I mean, sorry, it's false. It's true. It's false. It's true. It's false. It's false. I mean, it's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I'm sure it's T for true. Einstein was an expert swimmer. Yeah, swimmer. It must be false, right? And the answer is revealed in three, two, should only. It's true. So, uh, guys, I hope you all enjoyed my video. And I hope it was interesting for you. Because these unusual facts was kind of interesting for me too. And... A little crazy, like hating for socks. Yeah. And the quiet child one, he couldn't speak until the age of four. That's kind of weird. But I enjoyed this chapter. I hope you also did it. Right? So, bye guys. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram. Like this video. Share to everyone. So that everyone can know.
know all the unusual facts about ice type. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Bye!